feel tremendous guilt. Um, I think we, I think we all knew, in the back of our minds, even though we feigned this whole line of like there probably aren't any really bad unintended consequences. I think in the back, deep, deep recesses of our minds, we we kind of knew something bad could happen. But I think the way we defined it was not like this. It literally is a point now where I think we have created tools that are ripping apart the social fabric of how society works. That is truly where we are. And I would encourage all of you as the future leaders of the world to really internalize how important this is. If you feed the beast, that beast will destroy you. If you push back on it, we have a chance to control it and rein it in. And it is a point in time where people need to hard break from some of these tools and the things that you rely on. The short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. No civil discourse, no cooperation, misinformation, mistruth, And it's not an American problem. This is not about Russian ads. This is a global problem. So we are in a really bad state of affairs right now, in my opinion. It is is eroding the core foundations of how people behave by and between each other. Um, And I don't have a good solution. You know, my solution is I just don't use these tools anymore. And it's weird. I guess I kind of just innately didn't want to get programmed. And so I just turned, tuned it out. It's just a, it's a really, really bad state of affairs where, you know, bad actors can now manipulate large swaths of people to do anything you want. And we compound the problem, right? We curate our lives around this perceived sense of perfection because we get rewarded in these short-term signals hearts, likes, thumbs up, and we conflate that with value and we conflate it with truth. And instead, what it really is, is fake, brittle popularity that's short-term and that leaves you even more, and admit it, vacant and empty before you did it. Because then it forces you into this vicious cycle where you're like, what's the next thing I need to do now? Because I need it back. Think about that compounded by two billion people. And then think about how people react then to the perceptions of others. It's just a, it's a really bad.